Okay. I had somebody in my class, a very nice man, who said, you know, he didn't say it like this. He said, ah, you're generic macros that does all this table of contents and coloring the sheet. Ah, that's okay. But the thing I really only want is the shift control R to copy to the right. Now, you know that in Excel, I'm pressing Shift F11 and it seems to not work. Uh, okay. If I put 1 and press Alt EIS and then put Alt C for columns and then uh, 8760 for the number of hours in a non leap year, uh, then I put 100 here, I can just, of course, double click on it and it looks over to the left and gets that. And you know that if I press Alt EIS and press 100 here, and I try to put 100 here, that there's no way to do this. And this, you probably also know these people go uh, Control R and then press the Shift, Shift Control Left Arrow, Control R, and up, up. Ooh, I didn't say anything. And then I, um, we can do that. What a pain! When I saw that, I thought, oh, no, you have to do that. You, we can't do this. So at breakfast, I wrote a little macro that started this whole shift control R business. And I think other people uh, have the same thing. Okay, and I put it in the generic macro. So, of course, now I'm going to just show you how to put this shift control R in to your own model. Okay, and uh, when you, when you, uh, 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 so you don't have to have another generic macros open, which seemed to be a big issue for some. Now, what I did right recently, as of course I made this whole uh, revision in generic macros, so the first thing I'm going to do is open generic macros. I'm going to open it. Now, I have a dash in generic macros right now. Okay, all right, and I don't know why it brings you to the Elvis page. Maybe I'll save it and it won't anymore. So uh, right now I took the auto open out of this and you press implement. And when you press implement, of course, you can press uh, 200 and press shift control R. And you can also press shift control S and it takes you back it you got to be careful it kind of only that works the very first time you kind of if you have nothing there if i would put 200 here and shift control r and then shift control s it can't do it but if you press 300 and you press shift control r then it all works okay and if you don't believe me control left control right and that shift control r and closing that sheet all get me very irritated Okay, so that's the shift control R. Why? I'm sure Excel is, I'm sure Excel is going to have this within the next version. Maybe they have it today because I'm making a video on it today and I'll be very sad when they get it, when they do it. You will be very happy. Okay, now the way the shift control R works, I'm going to show you how to put this in your model. Now, you don't really have to watch any of this because I made a little file called Shift Control R. You can take and copy that stuff from Shift Control R and put it in your model. But before I do this, let me just say a couple of things. So I used to have this thing as a... Uh, uh, it was called Auto Open. And some people like... My friends in Japan, they're, they're, if you ever have a model with auto open, they get terrified and say, oh, no, 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 you could delete everything on the hard disk. You could be really bad. So I put auto open. So what that means is you have to do it. Now, what the, the way it works is you put this little thing called application on key and you press shift. This is control capital R and it goes to something called fill to the right. That's a macro. And if you look at the fill to the right, you say, oh, well, why don't I just copy this thing in? And it's not even that long a 
not well it is I guess I don't know what probably half of this crap is not necessary okay but why can't I just copy it and the reason you can't is cannot is 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 you need these some of these public variables because and you need to also define how many uh rows and columns are in the sheet so there are a couple of other things you need to copy and it's not it's pretty easy it's pretty easy okay but i just want to say one thing before we do that now if you press this thing with the on key called shift control r what you might want to do is get rid of it later because i'll have another shift control r somewhere else and i used to call this auto close and i did this but all you do there is you put the same on key and then you leave a blank here so right now if you want to reset the shortcut keys you press this one and then it uh it um shift control r does not work neither does shift control s okay now if you would like to copy this uh, uh the shift control r into your own your very own workbook you go to this one and i put it also on the website my website and i've got some crap here but in this uh, generic macros i've got copy to the right and if you want to find it it's right there it's got a, the code and what this so you download this of course all right I have some other shift control R discussion on that page of the website. Okay, so once you open that file, now in this case, I'm not going to press shift control R. All I'm going to do is take this macro and copy the whole thing. Now you have to copy all these public variables. And I put some auto open stuff here. And you got to copy it mm, all the way down to this one. Just copy this. Maybe I should have put a little thing where it's, you don't have to even go into the macro to do it. You know, you copy this. I'm sp talking to myself. You go back to your sheet. I'm going to press alternate F8. Uh oh. Alt F8. I press Alt F9. Oh, oh, damn it. Alt F8. Oh, press this workbook. I've got almost nothing. All this, this is like a little corporate model, and I have some uh, spinner box, uh, you know, skip things. And I guess I have a public variable here. Now, if you do this, like this you better put the option base one right at the top okay so now again this it still doesn't work shift control work. if i would just go and run this uh, uh, in this macro i just made now if i would go and uh, <laughs> press Z auto open and run that then what happens here uh oh I hope it it worked that just ran the on key oh, and I'm in the wrong place this is my model I was in okay and that's in the I'll go to the developer I guess and find the macro okay so it whatever you have to you'd have to press a little button in your own macro uh, uh, to get the on key get these things that say on key okay if you wanted to really do it in your model now what you do oh sh what's going on okay if, if you wanted to do it i suppose you could go to developer and insert a little thing here and make your little 
button with Z on, on auto open. Okay, that's kind of not necessary. You just have to do that once. Oh, <laughs> it went to the original sheet. I have a little thing that switches to sheet one. I think I'm going to make another video about this, by the way, which is totally unrelated. And now if I press one, two, 250 here, then I press shift control R and it all works. Shift control S and it takes it back. So now let's make sure that generic macros is long gone. Okay, I'm going to press reset shortcuts, get off of this. Don't save that one. And let's also make sure this shift control uh, R, R is not here. Okay. Um, and now let's put uh, 260. 56. Shift control. Oh, oops. <laughs> that was stupid. I'm going to. I'm going to redo this one. Oh, my God. Why did I put that sheets one here in this little thing? Okay. Shift control R. It all works. 321. Oops. Shift control S doesn't work. Shift control R. Shift control S now works. Okay. And that's it. I guess maybe you don't like this because you have to uh, implement that little thing to get it started. And I don't really know what to say. If you want to put this in your own models, it's all there. It's on the website. And I, the, only thing, the only other thing I have to say about this Now you're going to get all furious and all pissed at me like my sisters do. And, oh God, luckily my brother's okay. Uh, uh, then you, you uh, if you want to do this, I'm going to implement the macros. And I have a new new uh, sheet called Shift-Control-R. So I better press Control-Alt-C after I implemented. Press this one. Continue create table of contents. And it takes a minute, and there's my picture. Of course, you change this if you want your own picture, and it has the current things I have in there. And there is the shift control. I almost thought, oh, crap, it doesn't have that in there. And if you go to the very top, it takes you back. Okay, and that's generic macros. And if you don't like generic macros because it's got open auto open, it doesn't have auto open anymore. Oh no, what did I just do? Okay, I think that's enough of this video. I better take my F words out of here.